When Scott Boris talks, everyone shuts the fuck up and listens, and what he has said will further the decree by the prophet on why there will be no Major League Baseball this season, and I'm going to tell you why as you've entered the sports opinion lock here in Lex Anderson world, I'm said person, and if you're down with all things Major League Baseball or hashtag Yankee Universe, hashtag Pinstripe Pride. Make sure you're doing the right thing and subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. And on your way down, make sure you're liking this video and dropping a comment below letting me know what you think. Is the Major League Baseball season as dead as we know it? Let's go. Now, if you do or do not know, Scott Boris is a super agent. How super of an agent is he? He represents 71 Major League Baseball players and pretty much dealt with $1.2 billion last August 31st in off-season contracts. So he is motherfucking big time. And what he has said has pretty much put the baseball world on notice and that he wants his players to take a hard-line stance and not agree to the new set of demands by the billionaire owners who fucked themselves over by giving all these exorbitant, overpaying contracts, wasteful contracts, and now look at them. So management is going from the prorated to a further reduction. So people like their trophy boy, Mike Trout, who is set to earn $35 million this season, will only, unfortunately, be making $8 million. But here's the important words of Scott Boris that has put Major League Baseball and its season in jeopardy. In the words of the letter Scott Boris wrote to his clients, players should not agree to further pay cuts to bail out the owners, let owners take some of their record revenues and profits from the past several years, and pay you the pro rate salaries you agreed to accept, or let them borrow against the asset values they created from the use of the, those Profits players generate. Owners are asking for more salary cuts to bail them out of the investment decisions they have made. If this was just about baseball, playing games would give the owners enough money to pay the players their full prorated salaries and run the baseball organization. The owner's current problem is a result of the money they borrowed when they purchased their franchises, renovated their stadiums, or developed the land around their ballparks. This type of financing is allowed and encouraged by Major League Baseball because it's resulted in significant franchise valuation. Like when the Cubs renovated Wrigley Field, the Red Sox renovating, you know, that piece of shit dump, Fenway Park. And then, of course, the Yankees with their $1.5, $1.6 billion Yankee Stadium dubbed as the Cathedral. I think I'll place a pick right here, actually. Check it out. And of course, the cry, the tears from the billionaire owners is that they're losing upwards of $700,000 for each game that's played without fans. And they're saying that with prorated salaries with empty ballparks, that they would suffer losses upwards of $4 billion. And the major league players would be taking in 89% of that revenue, which is why they're trying to go with the prorated revenue and a 50-50 split. So there you have it, sports fans nationwide, just like your boy the Prophet had decreed, there will be no Major League Baseball season 2019, 2020. Of course, even Max Scherzer, World Series champion for the Washington Nationals, said that he's not even interested in talking with Major League Baseball in terms of any further negotiations. That's what I'm talking about. Death to the Major League Baseball season. That's all I've got for you sports fans. You already know the drill. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Drop the comment below. Bell icon. Notifications for any future videos, which there will be plenty. As this issue between the MLB Players Association, their players, and of course, the owners. Billionaires versus millionaires. Lex Anderson signing out.